And other news leaders in Kent are at a crossroads after seeing a rapid expansion of roadside camps. So they're talking about a major change to police enforcement and outright bans, even as the King County Council considers spending millions more on service-centered homeless solutions. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson joins us from City Hall. And Frankie, there's an upcoming meeting there in Kent on this proposed ban. Addressing homelessness near the Green River has been a focus for the past several months, but it's not just that one area that is seeing campers. Next week, council members will be here at City Hall diving into this issue and how it's affecting local business. Nihad Azadi has owned his smoke shop in Kent for two years. Thank you so much. But he says Good he's day. thinking Thank about you. closing up shop after what he's had to put up with these past nine months. That is not good for the business and for the customer. Azadi says this area of the city is experiencing issues with homelessness and business owners like him are hurting because of it. He's had to install surveillance cameras to keep an eye on who's coming in and out and gates to cover the door, windows and surrounding building as protection from vandalism. They broken my glass, they broken the door, they broken the gates and I called the police. With concern growing from the business community, Kent City Council plans to discuss a proposal to update the current ordinance of illegal camping outside of designated camping areas. Council President Bill Boyce says in a statement, Enforcement of the unlawful camping provisions under the proposed ordinance will be suspended when there is no available shelter except in particular locations such as environmentally sensitive areas such as wetlands and shorelines, park areas that are designated for a specified purpose such as picnic shelters and play fields, city rights of way, and city-owned facilities where business is conducted. I support that, yeah, and I hope they, they, like, they will do it like, as soon as possible. Not far from his shop are dozens of campers tucked on the side of the road near the Green River. And now there are other spots beginning to show up around the city. The Kent Chamber of Commerce is encouraging business owners to make their presence known by showing up to the city council's next workshop when the proposal will be discussed. Though there won't be public comment, the chamber says if you are in support of this initiative, you can attend the workshop and hear details of the ordinance. We strongly recommend a show of support by attending. The proposed ordinance will be discussed next Tuesday afternoon during the city's operations and public safety workshop. That same night, there will be a regular city council meeting where public comment will be available. The chamber is encouraging its members to go to that meeting as well in order to voice their concerns. Reporting in Kent, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.